Number five for the 2009 Vans tyre. Show that this integral, this definite integral, comes to log in 9.5. Four marks. Well, you know, it's not an identity. It says equals that, but I'm not going to mention that. That's just that's what I want to get as my answer. So I'm just going to forget that just now and just treat that on its own. So you look at that and you think, what I'm going to do with that? Looks like a substitution's involved. And the obvious one would be to look for the nastier part. That's the denominator. That's the part I'll use in my substitution. So I think I'll say this. Let u, or take your fancy bit of letter, equal this. e to the x minus e to the negative x. If you know about these, you've got these hyperbolic functions here. Still, that doesn't particularly matter. Which means that du by dx, since we'll have to do it that way, will just be, that'll just stay the same e to the x. That'll just stay the same e to the negative x, but multiplied by the derivative of the inner function. So multiplied by negative 1 makes it plus e to the negative x. Very handy. So I've got dx equals du over e to the x plus e to the negative x. So that's that part taken care of, and that's that part taken care of, and that's also the other part taken care of. But these limits, because I don't want to be changing it back again. I'll just, if I'm going to the bother of changing the variables, I might as well change my limits while I'm at it. So changing the limits then. When x is ln 3 upon 2, what have we got? Well, u will be, now I know e to the ln is going to make that disappear and just leave you with 3 upon 2, but I have to be more careful when I've got this negative in front of the ln, so I think I'll just spell it out to be careful here. So u is going to be e to the x, which is ln 3 upon 2. Quite happy with that, e to the ln, that just goes, leaving me 3 upon 2, minus e to the negative ln 3 upon 2. Now that doesn't just go straight away, that's not e to the ln. I'd have to absorb that, I'll just put that takeaway down just now, I'll have to absorb that power, that as a inside as a power. So that would be the same as e to the ln of 3 upon 2 to the negative 1. And of course negative 1 means it's going to be the reciprocal of it, it's going to be e to the ln of 2 thirds. So that part would be e to the ln of 2 thirds, which is two-thirds. And I'll just tidy that up because I've got sixths all together and I've got into it was three, so it's nine-sixths take away two times two is four-sixths, which is five-sixths. That actually took a little bit of working. Same with the next one. If x is ln2, that means u is going to be, I'll have e to the ln2 minus e to the negative ln2, but I think it's straight away this time, because I'm wiser after the event now, instead of writing negative ln2, I'm just going to write ln2 to the negative 1, which is ln a half. Then I can see I've got 2 take away a half, so that one's going to be 3 upon 2. Yeah, quite a little bit of arithmetic just to arrive at those limits. All these E's and things were easy. That seems to be the tricky part. It's really just a fractions question. So what does this lot equal then? That part was 5 sixths, the top part was 3 upon 2, and this lot all just goes, I'll put it down first of all, I've got e to the x plus e to the negative x, because I wasn't replacing that, this was the part that became u, dx became u over, and there's that e to the x plus e to the negative x in now, they're going to go, so I've just got, unfortunately, to write it all out again, for very little reason, just to write du over u, which goes to ln u. So I've got ln u to be evaluated twice at 3 upon 2 and at 5 upon 6. Now I know I'm going to be evaluating positive amounts, so I shouldn't really need to have to put the modulus around it, but I will anyway, just as a te on a technicality. I won't need it when I put them in, because I'm definitely putting in positive values. So I've got ln 3 upon 2, work it out at the lower limit, ln 5 upon 6. If you're subtracting logarithms, you divide the values they're operating on, so that will be 3 upon 2 divided by that, so it'll be the same as multiplied by the reciprocal, so it'll be times 6 over 5. 2 into 6 goes 3, 3 threes are 9, and there, as required, you've got 9 over 5. And there it's done. Worst part was actually working out the limits.